on March 7th, we left Brown Chapel AME Church. And we came right down Broad Street and over this bridge and met that wall of policemen. When the line stopped, he said there would be no march between Selma and Montgomery. You have three minutes to go back to your church. In one minute and 15 seconds, they attacked. It was awful. I had never experienced violence. I was too far back in the line to hear what they were saying. But I was a warrior. I knew the procedure. I knew when that line stopped because we saw those policemen when we crested the bridge. When that line stopped, we would kneel and have prayer. And after prayer, we would go back to the church, regroup, and come back again. Suddenly, we heard gunshots and screams. We thought they were killing the people down front. Before we could turn to run, the front had turned, and with them came those policemen, swinging those billy clubs, hitting anybody. Old, young, black, white, it didn't matter. They were just beating people. With them came that tear gas that turned out to be the gunshots we heard. Tear gas burns your eyes. It gets in your lungs. You can't breathe. You can't see. You panic. Oftentimes, you run back, right back to the same people you're running from. It was awful. Blood was everywhere on that bridge. They were running horses up in the crowd. The horses were afraid, and they would rear up. And when they came down, there was nowhere for you to go. In fact, the last thing I remember seeing on that bridge is this horse just running full speed. And this lady, as if in a daze, just stepped right in front of it. The sound of her head hitting that pavement was just too much. If you could outrun those men on foot, you couldn't outrun the ones on horses. I fainted. When I awakened, I was on this side of the bridge in the back of a car. And my sister Linda was in that car. And she was just crying. When I became fully awake, I realized it was not her tears falling on my face. It was her blood. My 14-year-old sister had been beaten on this bridge mm. and had a woman in her head that required 18 stitches. Yet on that Tuesday, she held my hand as we followed Dr. King and Dr. Abernathy across that bridge again. Met that same wall of policemen. They said the same thing. Only this side in the front went down and we two knelt and had prayer. Dr. Abernathy led the prayer. After prayer, we went back to Brown Chapel. Dr. King held a mass meeting. He had applied for a court order that would give us the legal right to walk from Selma to Montgomery. A judge in Montgomery named Frank Johnson signed it. And on March 21st, we left Brown Chapel one more time, mm -hmm. came over this very same bridge, and those same policemen who beat us up on the 7th had to protect us all the way from Selma to Montgomery. It took five days. So it was six months, and less than six months after our arrival in Montgomery, that the Voting Rights Act was signed, and it prevented, it removed those obstacles that prevented us from voting. Now the day when you turn 18, all you gotta do is fill out a little piece of paper. You must be special.